Hey guys, Dolphin Oracle here again today. Running a 32-bit MX system at the moment, and thought I'd show you how to get Netflix running on it. As most folks know, the easy way to get Netflix on a Linux system is just to use Google Chrome. It doesn't work real well on 32-bit systems anymore because Google got rid of the 32-bit uh, Google Chrome stable. Now, if you got an old version laying around, I think it'll still work. Uh, an old 32-bit Google Chrome laying around, you can kind of sort of still find them on the internet. Just be careful where you download it from. So I'm going to give you uh, another way, though, straight out of the MX Wiki. Get my mug down here in the corner. In the MX Wiki, that is mxlinux.org slash wiki. And you are going to search for Netflix. I'll put the direct link in the show notes. Netflix is the top one. And here we have a little uh, thing about how to get things working. We're going to use method A because honestly there's a method B uh, that worked in under MX15. Uh, I had a little trouble getting this to, method B to work in MX16. I, I think it's more it has to do with the version of Wine that's installed than than the uh, in the version of Firefox that's installed than the actual MX operating system. But method A still works. We're going to install something called Pipelight Multi. Pipelight is an old, um, it's kind of a, it, 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 it runs a plug-in for a Windows browser in a Wine session, but you use it from the Linux browser, web browser, and Firefox in this case. If that sounds complicated, don't worry about it. We're just we're just going to do it. So we're going to install Pipelight Multi. You can do this any way you like. I'm going to crack open Synaptic. Now you do have to, we are going to have a couple of command line commands for this one, but they're very very uh, straightforward and simple. Uh, again, I'm running the 32-bit uh, kernel at the moment. This system currently has 32 megs, or I'm sorry, currently shows about two and a half gigs of RAM available. So we're going to search for Pipelight here. So I'll type Pipelight. And we don't want this one, then we want this one, Pipelight Multi. Tag that. It's going to install a bunch of stuff, including wine, wine staging, some other things. This part's going to take a while because it's going to take, it's going to download, uh, I want to say like 400 megabytes of stuff. And we are going to apply, which I always forget to do in Synaptic. Okay, yeah, 258 megs of space, 108 to be downloaded. Okay, fine. So it's not quite as bad as I thought. So it's going to download all that stuff and get it installed. Okay, we're back. So all the software downloaded. Uh, that's done. I'll close Synaptic. And I'm actually going to close Firefox, too, because... Uh, well, actually, we're going to enable one command first. We're going to copy this command. This is the next. Com this is the command that we run to enable the Silverlight plugin. Now you say, "Wait, Silverlight? What? It's Microsoft." Yes, I know it's Microsoft. But if you're running 32-bit, this is a necessary evil because I have tried and tried to get HTML5 working in 32-bit, and maybe someone's got the secret sauce for it, and they'll let us know. But until that happens, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to control C this, and we're going to crack open the terminal, and we're going to pipelight plugin enable Silverlight, and you got to agree to the license agreements. Yes, bam, plugin Silverlight 5.1 is now enabled. Fine. Now I'm going to close the web browser. And here, the next command is sudo pipelight plugin create Mozilla plugins. Um, that's fine, but actually, uh, I found that in Firefox. It, it won't show up until after you start and sh shut down the browser and the wine prefix is actually created when the browser starts back up. So we're going to close the browser and open it back up and you're going to see the wine prefix message being created. There it goes, creating wine prefix. All that is is a special section of wine, a, a wine session that's set up for Silverlight, the Silverlight plugin to run. And now it's downloading the actual plugin from Microsoft. Now it's running the plugin installer. Okay, so far. So far, so good. 
Okay, now it appears to be done. Uh, that took on my system, I'm gonna put a little break in the video there, that took on my system, took about a minute and a half uh, to do. So we'll crack open the add-ons manager. Now remember, I'm recording and everything. It, it makes, it does cause an issue. So plugins, let's see, plugins, do, 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 do. You see, it's not here, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close the browser. Yes, close the browser. All right, now we're gonna open the browser back up. Now, they're still not gonna be there because there's another step to do. Now, they might be here, but if they're not here, I'll show you what to do. If you're using a browser that's Firefox-based, like Pale Moon, we feel you might actually be done at this point. Uh, okay, it's still not there. All right, so if it's not there, you're gonna close the browser back down, and you're gonna do the next step in the, in the routine. We're gonna run another command. This is straight out of the wiki, but I copied it here for a reference. This is this command. You're gonna run this as a regular user. And what this is gonna do, is gonna force creation of the Mozilla plugins in a way that the Firefox will pick up. So we're going to control C that, go back to our terminal. Oh, I'm going to use a drop down terminal just because. And do that. Done. So now it should show up in Firefox. That's nearly instant. All it does is make a bunch of sim links. Uh, do, 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 do. Add ons. We'll see if it's there. Okay, the very strange Silverlight plugin installed in Windows, <laughs> in Linux. <laughs> it's still crack. This guy thing cracks me up. Okay, so so you need one other step. In Pale Moon, you're probably done because Pale Moon includes some user agent string trickery automatically to make this work. Uh, in Linux, you will need. I mean, in Firefox. Dang on, I keep clicking the wrong thing. In uh, Firefox, you're going to need one more thing. You're going to need a user agent uh, plugin to override the user agent string. I happen to like a particular one. All right, get add-ons. Called user agent overrider. Uh, there are several out there, but I, I find user agent overrider to be easy to modify for this particular case. We're going to install that. You're going to find there's a lot of restarting of Firefox. Oh, add to Firefox. There we go. Install. Restart. And what we're going to do once Firefox restarts is we are going to use this agent string to get you have to use an old version. You have to tell Netflix you're using an old version of Firefox so that it will enable the Silverlight plugin instead of trying to force feed you HTML5. HTML5, so far, I can have not be able to get to work, so that's why we're doing the, the Silverlight plugin route. So we're going to copy this user agent string. And we'll go up here and click on this thing here. Whoops. This is the user agent overrider, and we're going to put in Firefox. 29. That's just a tag so we can find it again. Close that. Now it's going to be here. Firefox 29. And we're going to go to Netflix.com. Should be all we have to do. I'm going to pause for a second while I log in. Be right back. Okay, so here we are at the next foot Netflix homepage. Let's see if a video loads. Let's try a little Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Okay, you're going to get the Activate Silverlight plugin button. You're going to allow and remember that so that it remembers to do that in the future instead of asking you every time. Get these little blue dots here. That's the Silverlight loading thing. Loading indicator. And there's the red swirly for Netflix's loading indicator. And... Remembering that I'm recording at the same time, so the system's kind of, I'm kind of pushing things a little bit. I'll be darned, and there it goes, it's working. So there you go, pause on that because fair use stuff. So there you go, that is how you run Netflix under 32-bit Linux, or Annex. I will also add, that, or uh, Annex, not Annex, well, Annex, it'll work in Annex too, but in MX. I will add that I'm actually running the non-PAE kernel at the moment, so to simulate a, a machine with limited hardware, uh, 2.4 gigs of RAM is what this thing's showing at the moment. So 
you know, should work as long as your uh, as long as your uh, hardware can support the Silverlight plugin, which probably requires some SSE two type instructions. Nerd speak, sorry. Uh, should be good to go. For tips, tricks, how tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.